And now to overseas and that new challenge from North Korea conducting its third ballistic missile test in just over three weeks. Analysts saying that with each new test, the North appears to be getting closer to its goal of building a missile that could reach the U.S. with a nuclear weapon. Let's bring in ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raditz. And Martha, tell us what we know about this latest test and just how concerned U.S. defense officials are. Well, Amy, there is growing concern. This was a short-range ballistic missile, but with every missile test, the North Koreans learned something, and this one was a success. We're getting the first images from North Korea just this morning showing the launch with leader Kim Jong-un supervising the test. The missile traveled several hundred miles into the Sea of Japan, right between North Korea and Japan, Amy. So what is the White House saying, Martha, right now, and what are the options for a possible U.S. response to this? Well, President Trump is tweeting about his displeasure, but this is the ninth missile test since he took office. But today, the U.S. is trying something for the first time, a test of an intercept of a long-range intercontinental ballistic missile. The mock warhead launched from a Pacific island with the ground-based interceptor launched from a base in California. If that intercept is successful, the so-called kill vehicle will stop the mock warhead in mid-flight over the Pacific. There have been successes of shorter range tests, but not the long range test, Amy. And we just heard uh, President Trump tweeting again about Germany this morning. Let's turn to German Chancellor Angela Merkel suggesting that Europe might not be able to completely rely on the U.S. after meeting with President Trump. Talk about the impact on U.S.-German relations. Well, this comes after the G7 summit, which, of course, President Trump attended. Angela Merkel saying the times in which we can fully count on others are somewhat over, she said. And so all I can say is that we Europeans must really take our destiny into our own hands. Germany has not responded to the latest President Trump tweets, however, Amy. Yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. All right, Martha Raditz, thanks so much.